Governor Gretchen Whitmer says expanding LGBTQ rights is a top priority. She visited Grand Rapids this afternoon, hearing from West Michigan activists and leaders. But some say the governor's closed-door conversation left out the people who need her ear most. Marvis Herring has this story all new tonight. Marvis? Marley and Brian, Governor Whitmer supports expanding current state legislation so that employers and landlords can no longer discriminate against someone because of their sexual orientation or gender identity. One woman tells me she was the only queer Latina invited to today's private discussion that's part of the problem. There was a lot of business leaders. What about the real people? I intentionally said during uh, our introductions that I'm just here to represent my people. Eleanor Moreno calls it a privilege to attend the governor's closed door conversation surrounding LGBTQ rights. So I identify as queer, uh, Latina, Afro-Latina. Moreno joined business leaders and activists from our area giving input to Governor Whitmer on LGBTQ concerns relating to jobs, education, health care and housing. It can be fired for who you are or who you love. You can lose your housing based on who we spoke one-on-one -on -one with Governor Whitmer at the reception that followed. She says poorly protecting this community's rights turns away potential new businesses and residents. When Michigan lands with a D on LGBT rights when you compare us to the rest of the country, it tells the world we're not a wonderful place to come and make your life. Moreno says there were five people of color invited to today's roundtable of about 30. She felt the discussion targeted businesses. And that's fine, but where's our space then? For her, the state missed an opportunity to hear West Michigan stories of queer struggles, possibly similar to hers. A lot of my earlier years as a professional, I had to hide who I was. I couldn't bring my partner to any of our work parties or gatherings. She couldn't be herself, often introducing her partner as her best friend. And even as the city of Grand Rapids today painted part of Sheldon Avenue in support of pride, Moreno says that too brings attention to the muted voices of people of color. Don't even get me started on that because uh, my neighborhood wanted to paint our streets and the city said no. And now what neighborhood gets that? Like, let's talk about that too. One way or another, I am all in to make sure that we get Michigan on the right side of history. There is legislation both in the State House and Senate to expand the Elliott Larson Civil Rights Law of 1976. Kalamazoo Representative John Hoadley leads that push in the House right now. Whitmer says if it doesn't pass, she may bring it to you for a ballot vote.